Transition has become one of the defining terms of our times. But for Glasgow, transition is nothing new. As one of Europe's preeminent post-industrial cities, transition has defined Glasgow for decades. Ours is a history rooted in the unsustainable high carbon industries of the past. Proximity to natural resources and our location as a port city made Glasgow a titan of the industrial age. But industrial decline heralded a dark and damaging chapter in our history. Industry and employment giving way to dereliction and abandonment. Our city endured, however, and has re-emerged to thrive in so many ways. We've a global reputation for culture, hospitality and sport, are home to internationally recognised universities with a rejuvenated skills and knowledge base, and are becoming a global leader in new low-carbon economies within digital, science and technology. But legacies of our past still hang heavy. Swathes of derelict land remain a blight, affecting the well-being of communities and prosperity of our city. Motorways were carved through the heart of Glasgow as the city was given over to the car. And failure to equip our communities with the skills, jobs and social policies to deal with the fallout from heavy industries' demise had a devastating and generational impact. As we stand on the cusp of a new transition, we've learned from our past and where those long-standing challenges intersect with the climate emergency and COVID recovery. Key streets are being redesigned to give over space taken by private cars to people for walking, cycling and wheeling. Plans for an entire new mode of transport, the Glasgow Metro, to better connect communities with opportunities, vacant land with development and provide an alternative to the private car are under Scottish Government consideration. Feasibility work is underway to retrofit hundreds of thousands of properties, creating warmer and more efficient homes and our city partnerships are committed to ensuring citizens have the necessary skills for the new and emerging green economy. In November, my city will host COP26. It's the opportunity for world leaders to set our planet on a greener and more just path, and for Glasgow to thrust our transition to a cleaner, greener and healthier city front and centre of our priorities. It's also our chance to ensure the critical role of cities in the climate emergency is understood. Brexit has threatened to undermine Glasgow's voice within the international family of our urban peers. But the sustainability agenda is the world's agenda and through COP we have a platform to work with other cities across Europe in implementing bold policies for decarbonisation ensuring a just transition for our own citizens and for those across the planet.